Hey guys, today I want to talk about a lawsuit uh, from judges suing Wizards of the Coast because they believe they are acting as employees when they do tournament organizations and events. Now, why this is so important is because tournaments have gotten a lot more expensive. Now the tournament organizer, it's their duty to give compensation to the judge when previously Wizards of the Coast used to just pay them or pseudo pay them in judge packets. Now, as we have noticed from these tournaments, the prices keep increasing and increasing and increasing in price, uh, and they will only get more expensive. I think $75 for you know a regular GP. I could see GPs being $100 plus for sealed, and maybe even $100 for draft-related um, GPs. Now, it's an interesting argument these judges are making because they're alleging that they, for many years, have actually been employees and they've been treated as employees. So Wizard of the Coast used to call these judges, I believe, and say, hey, can you do this event? Can you do that event? And so there was two lawsuits claiming that judges are actually employees. Are they employees? I don't know. Are they volunteers? I don't know. Um, it's very strange to be a volunteer. When you volunteer, it's normally for nonprofit. And Wizards of the Coast is definitely for profit. They benefit from having these judges uh, do these events. Um, there's, I don't think there's any argument about that particular fact. Uh, whether or not they are employees, interesting discussion. Uh, leave me a comment below and let's have a good discussion about it. But the end result is no more judge promos and the tournament organizer has to pay to compensate the judges now. And that increases the cost of the tournament, of the actual uh, the vending and all, all the things related. This is an additional cost that previously was supported by Wizards of the Coast.